Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. Today we're going to be installing a Rhinorack backbone system for the 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL Unlimited equipped with a factory hardtop. Now, if you're looking to bring along some extra gear on your next adventure and maybe the interior of your Wrangler has reached maximum capacity, or maybe you're looking to bring along larger items that simply won't fit inside the Jeep, well, looking to the roof of your Wrangler offers a lot of possibilities. The Rhino Rack Backbone System is really the base that's going to allow you to mount things like either crossbars to carry large items like canoes, kayaks, bike racks, or maybe a rooftop tent, or maybe a platform style system so that you can mount a variety of different types of accessories easily up on top of your Wrangler. Now, unlike other systems that simply rely on the fiberglass hardtop by clamping into the rain gutter, the Rhinorack Backbone System utilizes a series of brackets that mount on the exterior of your Wrangler's hardtop, along with an interior skeleton, or a backbone if you will, to carry the weight of all the gear you're putting up on top of your Jeep down to the body tub of your Wrangler. Now by doing so, the cargo carrying capacity of the backbone system is pretty impressive. In fact, the maximum static load allowance for the backbone system is 748 pounds. So that means that if you want to throw a rooftop tent up on your Jeep, when it's parked, you should have no problem putting two or maybe even three people in that tent up on top of your Wrangler. Now the dynamic load allowance, so when the vehicle is under motion, does drop slightly, but these numbers are still very impressive. In fact, you can carry 219 pounds when you're on the pavement or 174 pounds when you're headed off the pavement. So again, you should see you have no problem at all bringing along something like a big heavy rooftop tent, even when you're headed off the pavement for a longer off-road adventure. Now, as I mentioned, the backbone system does transfer the load of the gear that you're putting up on top of your Jeep through the hard top and down to your body tub. Now, what I mean by that is that you are gonna be drilling through your hard top, but I promise you that this process is actually pretty easy. You can accomplish it with just minimal amount of tools and pretty confidently, even though it can be a bit scary to drill through your expensive factory hard top. In fact, this is really all of the tools you need to do the job. Of course, you're gonna need a drill along with a 5 16 and a half inch drill bit. And then simply the Jeep included toolkit that came with your Wrangler from the factory along with the Allen wrench and the Rhino Rack multi-tool that's included with the Backman system are all you need to tighten all of the fasteners that come with this kit. Of course, you're also gonna need some masking tape and the installation calls for butyl mastic. Now, if you're having trouble finding that at your local hardware store, Rhino Rack has assured me that any good outdoor exterior type of sealant should work well for this install. I picked up this at our local hardware store. It's intended for things like windows and doors. You just wanna be sure that the product that you're using is going to remain flexible and not harden over time. Looking for one that's got things like mold inhibitors in it and is UV resistant is also very good. Remember, this is gonna be on the outside of your Jeep. It's gonna be traveling down the road, off-road. It's gonna be flexing. So you wanna make sure that that sealant stays nice and pliable, it doesn't harden over time, and that's gonna help to prevent any chance of leaks in the hardtop. Now, I've also done this install previously for a Gladiator, and if you wanna check that out, you can click that info button. You may recognize the Jeep behind me that we're gonna be doing the install on today. Of course, this is one of our employee, Matt's Rubicon, three liter eco diesel equipped Wrangler here. Now, with his suspension and 37 inch tall tires, could make our install a little bit challenging, so I've got something in mind that it's gonna make this go just a little bit easier. Now, I just so happen to have the back half of a Wrangler sitting around the shop here that's currently unused. It was previously on the back of a vehicle that we unveiled at the 2022 SEMA show, our two-door 4xE powered Gladiator, the JTE. You can check that out by clicking the info button. And it got me to thinking, hey, instead of doing the install on the top of Matt's very tall Jeep back there with the stepladder, why don't I go ahead and move the hard top down here to the body tub on the floor so that I can work a little bit easier here at ground level showing you guys the install steps. But 
Of course, you at home don't need the back half of a Wrangler sitting around to complete this install. You can install the backbone system with your hardtop installed on your Wrangler. I'm gonna begin the installation on the passenger side of the Jeep. To get started, we can install the rear upright on the inside of the hardtop, securing it in place with the two rear factory hardtop bolts. Next, we can install the front upright on the passenger side, this time using the forward factory hardtop bolt to hold it in place. Now with the uprights installed, we can use them to locate the two holes that will drill in the rear of the hardtop first. Grab your drill and the 5 16 drill bit and drill both of the holes through the rear upright. Make sure you're wearing eye protection as well as a mask to protect from the fiberglass dust. With both of those holes drilled, we can come back and vacuum up any of the dust from the inside and outside of the hardtop. At this point, we can install a bead of silicone both around and in both of those holes. And now it's time to go ahead and grab that rear casting along with the installation hardware. The included cardboard parts diagram makes it easy to be sure that you're grabbing exactly the right hardware to go with the part that you're installing. Line up the rear casting on the hardtop and hold it in place with the two T50 Torx bolts. On the inside of the hardtop, start by installing a washer between the hardtop and the upright for each bolt. Next, slip the upright over the bolts, followed by an additional washer and a lock nut. We can go ahead and tighten these nuts down using your Jeep provided ratchet along with the Rhino Rack multi-tool. We only need to torque these to about three to four foot pounds for now. With the rear casting installed, we can move on to locating the middle casting here on the hardtop. Now to do that, we're gonna be using this horizontal frame piece that's provided that we're actually gonna be reusing a little bit later on and installing it on the inside of the hardtop to structurally connect this middle and rear casting together on the underside of the hardtop. We're also gonna be using the Rhino Rack multi-tool. On the back side of the multi-tool, it's labeled with an 11 millimeter thick side, as well as a six and a half millimeter thick side. We're gonna be placing that six and a half millimeter thick side with this Phillips head screwdriver bit underneath of our casting down here in the rain gutter. And that's gonna locate our casting at the appropriate height out of the rain gutter for us. Next, we can grab that horizontal bar. You wanna to refer to the instructions to ensure that you're using the correct bar for the side of the hardtop that you're working on. Now, a good way to double check that you've got the correct bar here, we've got two large holes on one end of this horizontal bar. Those holes should be towards the forward part of the hardtop facing towards the outside. We'll also have a small oval next to a circle with two notches in it. We're gonna be placing that bar on top of the casting using one of the M6 bolts provided. Thread it through that small hole with the two notches into the mounting location on top of the casting. Then we can go ahead and grab another M6 mounting bolt and we wanna slide this bar along with that middle casting until the small hole with a single notch on the other end of this horizontal bar lines up with the mounting location here on our rear casting. Now at that point, we only have to finger tighten these bolts just to keep this bar secured to each of the castings. Now our casting is located here on the outside of the top. You wanna to make sure that that multi-tool is in place. That's gonna locate us at the appropriate height out of the rain gutter. And then we can grab one of the provided bushings. We're gonna use that to make sure that our drill stays centered in each one of these mounting holes, as well as it helps to keep the drill at a perfect 90 degree angle from the casting and the hardtop, so that we can drill both of these holes from the outside in through the hardtop. Using the bushing as a guide, start with a quarter inch drill bit to drill both holes for the middle casting. Then we can switch out to a 5 16 drill bit to enlarge both of the holes through the casting. Now we can remove the M6 bolt holding the horizontal bar to the casting and set it aside, removing the casting so that we can vacuum up the fiberglass dust. Next, we'll apply a bead of silicone around and in both of the holes. Now we can locate the middle casting in place on the hardtop, holding it in place with two of the T50 Torx bolts. Just as we did with the rear casting, start by installing a washer on each of the bolts from the inside between the hardtop 
and the front upright. Then push the upright into place and secure it again with a second washer and a lock nut on each one of the bolts. Again, we can tighten this hardware to about three to four foot pounds. To locate the front casting on the hardtop, we're gonna be using a similar procedure as we did with the middle casting. This time we're gonna be using the Rhino Rack multi-tool on the slightly larger 11 millimeter end, slipping that into the ring gutter and under the front side of that front casting to locate it up out of the ring gutter. You wanna grab that horizontal bar and slide it forward in the same orientation as we were using it before with these two large holes facing the front of the hardtop. Only this time, instead of using the hole with two notches, now we're using the smaller hole with three notches to secure our bar to the front casting with that M6 bolt. And then we can slide this casting around until we line up the hole at the back side. This time it is now the hole with two notches at the back into that middle casting, that number two casting, if you will. Working from the back, you can think of it as the number one, number two, and number three castings. Now that we have our front casting located front to back and up out of the ring gutter, we can grab the two bushings, drop those through the large holes on top of the casting until they rest on the top of the hard top. We can start by using the quarter inch drill bit to drill through these bushings and the outer layer of fiberglass. At that point, we can remove the bushings and set the front casting aside so that we can come back and enlarge the outer holes with the half inch drill bit. Next, you can vacuum up the fiberglass dust so that you can set the casting back in place, reinstall both bushings, and then using the smaller quarter inch drill bit, locate the second set of holes through the bottom layer of fiberglass. Now we can go ahead and remove those bushings again remove the M6 bolt and the horizontal locating bar. Finally, remove that front casting and we can enlarge the bottom layer of fiberglass again with the larger half inch drill bit. Now, if you're completing this install on your Jeep, you wanna be sure to use the included spacer so that your drill bit doesn't extend too far and make contact with the top side of your Jeep sport bar. Now, because this front casting does utilize a bracket that goes on the underside of the hardtop that then sits on top of your Jeep's sport bar. I'm gonna to wait to connect this front casting to the inner bracket until I have the hardtop back up on the Jeep. And that's because this casting on the inside utilizes an existing hole in your Jeep's sport bar. So I wanna make sure I have this located in exactly the right spot because they do give you a little bit of wiggle room in the mounting holes for this bracket so that you can get a perfect fitment on your Jeep. I'm gonna go ahead and get the castings installed on the driver's side so I can get the hardtop lifted back up on the Wrangler and we can continue on with the next step. Position the roll bar casting with the tab up and the deboss circle is on the back side. Slide the roll bar casting between the roll bar and the hardtop up into place until you feel that D-ball circle drop into the existing hole on the top side of your sport bar. Secure it in place with the long T50 Torx bolt and a washer from the bottom side of the sport bar through the existing factory hole. Apply some silicone around each of the holes on the hardtop. Drop the front casting into place, followed by the two bushings through the casting and the holes in the hardtop. Next, grab the long Allen head bolts Slip a metal washer first, followed by a rubber washer second, and drop these through the bushings down through the roll bar casting. Using the Rhino Rack multi-tool, hold the flange nut from the underside and tighten these bolts with the included Allen wrench. The last thing we have to do is install the horizontal bars between the front and rear uprights around the hardtop windows. You can position these with the two large holes towards the back side of the Jeep. Secure them in place with the provided Allen head bolt and a washer through the oval hole into the threaded nut cert that's in place in each of the uprights. Well, that's gonna take care of the install of our Rhinorak backbone system here for the Jeep Wrangler JL. Go ahead and easily reward yourself now with your favorite cold beverage because that Rhino Rack multi-tool you've been using also functions as a really great bottle opener. They've even got a hole on there so you can put it on your keychain and hang on to it for later use. As I mentioned earlier, the Backbone system 
has a really great load carrying capacity. But there's some other things I like about this system as well. As you can see, even when you're not carrying things on your hardtop, you don't have any crossbars or a platform installed, well, all of these castings have a really great low profile. The other thing I like about that is if you know you're gonna be headed off and doing some more difficult and challenging trails where you may worry about accidentally ripping a crossbar off on a passing rock or branch, well, you can take them off and again, you've got a very low profile to those castings when they're left on the hardtop. And frankly, oh, I think they look pretty great when they're left there without anything installed. Now, if you guys wanna get more information or to purchase a Rhinorack backbone system for your 2018 or newer Jeep Wrangler JL, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the system or how to get it installed, you can always leave them for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon because next time we're gonna be continuing with Matt's Jeep by installing a Rhinorack Pioneer platform along with a Batwing compact awning. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.